Well, it's interesting because I was here pretty much in the same chair one year ago, almost the exact day at the Kwandu International Film Festival. So it's great to be back, but it's also kind of surreal to be back because the circumstances, of course, this year could not be more different from the circumstances last year. Uh, as you mentioned, we're in the middle of a global pandemic. Uh, Taiwan is doing very, very well in terms of handling this. And so it's been nice to participate in the festival in a way that's pretty similar to before. You know, we're wearing masks, but we're able to get together and to watch films and have workshops. But of course, the context, the larger picture of what's going on in the world uh, couldn't be more different. For myself, uh, it's had a huge impact on my life personally and professionally, the, the pandemic. We, my family and I came here to Taiwan to visit relatives for Chinese New Year. We thought we'd be here for two weeks. And it's 10 months later and we're still here. We're still here. Uh, as far as the impact of the pandemic on me personally and professionally, it could not have been more significant. The uh, coronavirus has really changed a lot for myself and for my family. We typically would visit Taiwan to see relatives and we came here early in 2020 in January for Chinese New Year. We thought we would be here for two weeks and we ended up staying here for 10 months actually relocating from Beijing to Taipei. So I'm now living in Taiwan uh, full time. My family is here, my kids are in school and working here. So um, I got my foreign expert gold card. Uh, so now I'm legal, that's great. And it's been nice to get back on my feet. It's been very disruptive, as you can imagine, for everybody in the world. Uh, and for me particularly in terms of the development work and the production work that I've done um, with Magic Dumpling, with other ventures. But it's been nice that you know Taiwan is one of the few places in the world where I can really see myself getting back to normal and moving forward. So that's been really, really gratifying for me to be able to do that. You know, this is a really great question and it's something that I've written about earlier this year in my blog on Animation World Network and I've also spoken about on different podcasts is, of course, the huge impact that the coronavirus epidemic has had on the entertainment industry. A lot of people who are involved with live performances, dance, music, etc. have been hit very hard by this. Uh, the film industry has been hit very hard. It's almost impossible to shoot anywhere for a live action film. And even animated productions have been disrupted. Most people are working from home now. So large studios like Disney and Pixar and Sony had to scramble to get people set up in their homes with facilities that were professional grade and also could transfer huge files back and forth. Um, but it's also affected uh, independent artists and individuals as well. However, there's been a silver lining and that has been that many independent artists who I know and have uh, spoken with, and myself included, uh, I work independently as well as with larger ventures, um, have really been using this time to reflect on what we're doing in general with our creative work and maybe specifically what's going on with a particular project and then redirect ourselves, re-energize ourselves in, in a way. So it's been a time of contemplation, you know, certainly disruptive, uh, but a time of contemplation and many people have either attacked their work, their independent work with, with renewed energy or they've made a pivot, right? They've decided to make an adjustment based on something that has changed in their life or something that's just changed in their in their mind, in their, their view of the world. So I think this is a good thing and I think that you're already starting to see some interesting works coming out that aren't necessarily about the pandemic but you can certainly see the influence of this very strange year uh, in what people are doing and I think you'll see more of this and so ironically, I don't want to say, oh yeah, it's a good thing we had a pandemic because uh, it's not, but I think there are many people who as independent creators are trying to make the best of a bad situation. In terms of plans for the future, I mentioned that I've set myself up now in Taiwan, uh, personally and professionally. My kids are in school here. Uh, my wife and I are working here on our projects and uh, also talking with people about some cooperations. So it's really been great in that there are things that I've been doing previously that I'm continuing now, but also new opportunities that I'm exposed to uh, that makes it a very exciting time. So in terms of the future plans, I hope on the one hand to wrap up some of the things that I was in the middle of 
uh, when everything went crazy this year. And then also to kind of clear the deck so that I can have you know, room to take on these new opportunities. Um, and those opportunities range from industry stuff with larger studios, independent work uh, that I have going on, and also academic. I, I've been conducting some workshops here at the KDIAF. I've been involved with uh, TNUA as a friend for a long time and possibly maybe involved in a closer context going forward. So that's all very exciting um, and I really look forward to you know, making the next phase of my life and my career uh, here in Taiwan.